Hello friends, this video on P-Block Elements Part 25 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. It's a very interesting question. We have to give the reasons for all this. The first is concentrated nitric acid can be transported in aluminium conductor. Please note it's concentrated, not dilute. So because the moment you uh, react concentrated uh, nitric acid with aluminium, it forms a negative label. That is called alumina. So I'll write the reaction here. You have aluminium plus concentrated HNO. Three, right? You react, you get Al2O3, and you get nitrogen with the gas and water. This is a productive layer. With that, the further reaction doesn't happen, and that's why, since further reaction doesn't happen, you can transport concentrated nitric acid with the aluminium conductor. This is done. A mixture of dilute uh, sodium hydroxide L and aluminium pieces is used to open drain. Because the moment you react this uh, sodium hydroxide and aluminium, it gives Good amount of hydrogen gas and the pressure with this of the hydrogen gas is enough to create to open the drain. Let me write the reaction here. So I have aluminium react with sodium hydroxide and water in the drain actually. It gives NaAlO2 plus hydrogen gas. And these hydrogen gas, the pressure is enough to open the clogged drain. The second is graphite is used as a lubricant. Graphite can withstand high temperature, also it is uh, with the shape, structure it is a little slippery. It can be used as lubricant where uh, the normal lubricant won't work because of high temperature. There is a machine which runs at very high temperature, the normal lubricant won't be suitable there because it will burn. So in that case, the graphite is used as lubricant there. Why is diamond used as abrasive? Because diamond is very very hard, very very hard because of the network structure it has, so it is used as abrasive. Aluminium alloy is used to make aircraft body. Why? Because in aircraft we need something which is lightweight. Right? Because if it is very bulky, it costs the fuel of uh, aircraft. It has to be hard and abrasive. So aluminium has all these qualities. It is lightweight, it is hard, it is abrasive. So aluminium is used to make aircraft body. Aluminium utensils should not be kept uh, in water overnight. Because if you react aluminium with normal water, right, we react an oxygen from atmosphere, it forms Al2O3 and hydrogen gas. And since this hydrogen gas is exhausted, it, it goes off, right, this reaction goes in the forward direction and all the aluminium dissolves in water, a good amount of aluminium dissolves in water and you have this aluminium ions and these aluminium ions, Al2O3 or Al plus 3 ions, is very harmful to the health. So we should not dissolve this in water. We should not keep water and aluminium overnight because it's a very slow process but if we need to keep for 10 hours in the night, the reaction will happen. Why aluminium wire is used to make transmission cable? The electrical conductivity of aluminium is very good. Very good. So if we compare from copper, it is double actually. The same uh, mass of copper. So this is used for making transmission cables. The next question is why there is an increase decrease in ionization enthalpy from carbon to silicon. So if you see this is my carbon and this is my silicon, little bigger, right? Size increase, it's easy to plug electron, it's easy to plug electrons, so ionization enthalpy decrease. So we have discussed a lot on this all. Because the size increase, easy to plug electrons, so ionization enthalpy decrease. How do you explain the lower atomic uh, radius of gallium as compared to aluminium? This we have discussed actually. So this is because of poor shielding of 3D electrons. So if you write the electronic configuration of alum aluminium, it is neon 3s2 3p1. If you write for gallium, it is argon 3d10 4s2 4p1. So I have 3D orbitals here, 3D, and this has a pure shielding. So with that, what happens is the gallium size is less because the this is aluminium and this is gallium. Because this gallium uh, neutrons, right, has more charge, the shielding is less, so it can attract electron all the more. So it shrinks the size of gallium. What are allotropes? We have discussed allotropes are nothing but something which has same structure, uh, same chemical thing. For example, carbon has a, a diamond, 
graphite but because of uh, different structure right it behaves differently it has different physical properties actually chemical properties are almost same but the physical property is varies a lot because of the difference in structure and we've discussed this for diamond and graphite a lot so to classify these oxides as neutral acidic or basic or amphoteric carbon monoxide as we told that due to strong bond energy of co it is neutral so let me first write here neutral acidic then you have amphoteric and then you have basic so carbon monoxide will be neutral okay then you have b2o3 b2o3 will be acidic because the moment you go down the the basic nature increase silicon oxide will also be acidic carbon dioxide will also be acidic as al2o3 is amphoteric we have seen right pbo2 is also amphoteric this guy is basic allium is this is that so the next question is some reaction thallium behaves as aluminium in some it behaves as group one element so if you see thallium has oxidation state of plus 3 and plus 1 by plus 3 plus 3 because it is part of group 13 and plus 1 because of the inert pair effect right so if it is when it is in plus 3 oxidation state it behaves like aluminium when it is plus 1 oxidation state it behaves like a group one element correct So the question says the aqueous solution of borax is neutral, amphoteric, acidic, or basic. So borax, borax is if you see is nothing but salt of strong base. And what is the strong base? It is NaOH. Right, NaOH, and weak acid. What is the weak acid? The boric acid. salt of strong is base weak acid so it has to be basic so it will be basic right since the borax is a salt of strong base and weak acid it has to be basic the next question says is that the boric acid is polymer why due to its acidic nature presence of hydrogen bond monobasic nature its geometry uh, we have seen that it is polymeric why because of hydrogen bonds Right, that's why it exists in that uh, structure, right? We have seen that uh, complex structure of uh, boric acid. So the question is, dibor the bo the diborin. What is the hybridization? Write the structure B two H six. Same thing. We have this. Right, the structure of B two H six. Now, what is the hybridization? One two three four. So it has to be sp three. So it has to be sp three hybridization. Thermodynamically, the most stable of form of compound is graphite. We have told you this is the most stable. In fact, this is more stable than diamond also. And that is why it is used as a, a lubricant in the machine, which runs at very very high temperature. The element of group fourteen exhibit uh, plus four oxidation state only, plus two and plus four, M two minus M four. What is this? So if you see, the answer is pretty simple. Plus two and plus four. We have talked about this because group fourteen, the maximum has to be fourteen minus ten, that is plus four. But due to inert pair effect, this is plus four minus two, that is plus two. So it exhibits plus two and plus four oxidation state. Correct. Group fourteen, the group number is fourteen. The maximum is group number minus ten, that is plus four oxidation state. But because of inert pair effect, it also exhibit plus four minus two, that is plus two oxidation state. Thank you. Visit examfear dot com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.